Hello Libra, how are you? I hope you're doing well and welcome, welcome to your reading. Libra, if you are new here or we haven't met, my name is Joe and I will be performing your tarot reading for the sign of Libra, obviously. Okay, for all Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus placements. So if you have Libra in any of those placements in your chart, this should just pop the reading for you. Okay, do keep in mind that my readings are timeless and they are general. So just take what resonates, leave the rest behind. Don't try to force or fit anything. And the best time for you to watch or listen to my readings is when you come across them or if the title catches your attention. Okay, um, that's why they're timeless. Okay, so there's no time frame, no time limit, no expiry date. Do feel free to browse my channel. You might want to check some of the other readings I've done for you in the past. But more than anything, don't just focus on your sun sign, Libra. Check what other signs you have in your other placements. And then you might want to check some of the readings for those other specific signs. Okay? Sometimes your messages come stronger from there. It all depends on your current path. And especially if you're having a hard time finding a reading that resonates with you or that you feel connected to, you know, that's probably, that's probably why. Okay? Please do subscribe, hit the like button, leave me a comment. I would truly appreciate it very much. It's the best way to support a channel. And I do like to hear feedback from my viewers. And thank you to all of you who have already, you know, subscribed, liked, commented, shared, and uh, gave donations. Thank you, thank you so much for your support. I truly appreciate it very much. And Libra, last but not least, Happy New Year, Happy 2024. Let's hope for the better. Let's hope. For, let's hope for a better year, right? As long as we're all safe and we're okay. I think uh, this year wasn't so bad, but it could have been better, especially in some international aspects, maybe. Okay. But yeah, let's just hope for a better year. I do wish you the best. Okay, let me see. One more. Yeah. Okay, Libra, the heart of the matter, what this reading is about, or the current energy that you're dealing with, or will be dealing with soon, is the Three of Swords, okay? So, we are in this situation where there's some heartache, there's heartbreak, there's some pain, okay? Um, let's try to figure out what, what's going on here, okay? Something something has hurt, hurt, hurt you. Okay, the energy that is crossing you, it could be a challenge. It's the Queen of Swords. Okay. There you are, a very strong, divine, feminine air energy. Okay, it doesn't matter what gender you are. But the problem is that this is a challenge right now, or it's the blockage. Okay, this is about knowing how to address uh, a specific situation, how to deal with it, maybe even how to respond to it. Okay trying to understand, trying to get some clarity, okay? And I think that most of you, um, you're having a hard time uh, dealing with the situation, okay? Trying to trying to understand, trying to make, make sense of things, trying to use your logic mind, okay? And maybe, you know, trying, you know, just trying to understand to find certain answers. Okay, there's no clarity. Okay, there might be even a little bit of confusion. Now, the energy that's crowning you and it's uh, in your conscious mind, you are aware of this. Maybe you're constantly thinking about it. Okay, it's the world. That's the last card of the major arcanas. Okay, this is about closing cycles, it's about Big ends for new beginnings, okay? So, you are aware. Now, did you want it? It's not what I'm sure about, but you are aware that this is an end. It's time to put an end to something. It's time to wrap things up, okay? And, uh, you know, it's the end of cycle for new beginning. 
Okay? If you are aware of this, that's good. Okay? At least there's some form of acceptance uh, and, un, you know, understanding that this is an ending. Okay? But yeah, you're, you're more than anything having a problem just dealing with it. Okay? Maybe some of you just don't want to deal with it. You know? Maybe it's something that has already ended for you and uh, as, you know, painful as it has been for you, but you just don't want to deal with it anymore. Maybe someone or something is trying to bring it back up and you just don't want to, you know, I think you have said enough is enough. I don't want to deal with this anymore. It's, 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 I'm done. I'm, I'm ready for something new. Okay. I'm ready for a new beginning. Okay. I don't want to deal with this anymore. Could be. Let's see. The energy below you, your subconscious mind. You're not aware of this, and you should, okay? This is usually your higher self or divine trying to tell you this. Nine of Wands, okay? Even though you are aware that there is an ending, uh, Libra, I think some of you are still in a very defensive state or just hiding behind these bars, walls. Some type of imprisonment, you know. You've been hurt. You some of you could be even be scared and tired. But you're not, I guess you're not allowing a new beginning. You know that something has ended, but you're hiding behind these wands, which gives me a feeling that you just don't want to deal with anything else. Is that what it is? You're so done with something that you are even blocking your own What has to come to you? Hmm. I mean, yeah, it, it could happen, of course. I can see that. But uh, I think the pain has been so strong that you just don't want to deal with anything else anymore. Not even new, new beginnings, new opportunities. Come on. We're starting a new year and... The energy that's behind you, your recent past, where you're coming from, or it's just the energy that's pushing you through this. It's justice, that's you. This is your major account, Libra, energy, okay? First of all, I think that, you know, you dealt with something. It could have been if it's not well, it could have been, it can be karmically in both ways, you know. Even if you were dual, dealing with a justice system here in this realm, you know, with the law, you know. And if not, you know, with the divine law, the divine justice, you know. Uh, I think some things had to be settled, had to be worked out, balanced. There could have been some equal, well, just some balancing that had to take place. This could have benefited you in, in, in a way, you know. Um, I think there, there could have been some fairness. If not, you know, you dealt with something. You, well, yeah, it's just, but I think there's something also that you became aware of. Okay, that's that's pretty much what I'm also feeling, picking up from this. Okay, some truths just popped out. You know, you became aware of certain things. Okay, that's what could have caused more heartbreak for some of you. Okay, but. Uh, I think this is karmic and it was meant for you to 
step up more into your own divine power but you dealt with something that was very heartbreaking and you just it I think it blocked you it's how oh, this is in front of you where you headed to what's coming towards your near future three of cups there's some sense of celebration okay seems that some type of joy I don't know why I see three three people and it's not bad well I mean there's three people on the card but it's not I always get this energy on this card sometimes of you being having to be careful of the energies that you're, you surround yourself with but in this case Libra I sense that you and other two individuals that are very close to you it seems that you are celebrating something after this heart heartbreak I think the heartbreak could have affected all three of you that's for some of you okay but uh, you see I think you they're trying to tell you that you have to allow yourself to step out of this energy that you put yourself into you know hiding behind the bars as if oh god where do I get this paranoia or schizophrenia I hope at least not too many of you have this issue okay but it could be that even the situation could be could have been so stressful for you that could have caused some type of mental disorder where you are paranoid or even schizophrenic you know and you are afraid of putting yourself out there now and enjoying life which is what you should do okay whatever you they're trying to tell you they're trying to advise you okay your higher self is trying to tell you this I don't want to remain stuck in this energy after all the heartbreak the pain after all that I had to go through I don't want to stay stuck here okay you don't want to stay here forever you have to allow yourself to go out and live life and enjoy life at the fullest okay there's something you're not addressing here okay maybe it's not so much about the heart the heartache the pain or this heart past heartbreak you know maybe it's just about dealing the emotional part of you maybe there's some healing that has to take place maybe there's some understanding that has to take place from your part you know trying to make sense of things of why you know accepting making peace with a situation This is how you should see or respond to the situation or it's a representation of yourself page of swords I get that energy again with the queen, queen of swords but this is you know you ah I see that's what it is you have to start seeing and responding to things in a different way from now on okay uh, if you're keeping yourself locked down behind bars uh, not allowing yourself to put yourself out there and live life you know it's because you need to something within you that you have to change how you perceive things how you react to things how do you how you respond how you deal with things okay this queen of sword energy is this energy of someone who is trying their best to to deal with certain matters but I think there's 
you have to step back again at some point and restructure your your mind to get clarity in a different way and understanding but I also get that some of you have to address something once and for all okay so take that as it resonates best for you if you think there's something you still have to deal with yes I think you should because it would give you probably the final closure is that what you're thinking about it's not that it's something has ended are you thinking about getting the right closure getting the proper closure yes that's what it is but you know something has ended but you just need that proper closure for some reason or it has to happen does it have to happen do you really need this closure we'll see in a minute the energy that's surrounding you it's influencing you inspiring you or even affecting you is the nine of cups Libra um, it's time to do things for your own self here okay I think you are aware of that because it's surrounding you it's time to get yourself out of this nine of wand energy and step into this nine of cup energy see this is a trade-off of the energy where you're at you're keeping yourself locked it's time for you to go out and enjoy every moment in your life so you can finally reach this energy of self-fulfillment being good with yourself you know being feeling good enough with yourself so maybe that's the clarity that you need to start seeing I don't think you need this closure that you're probably thinking about that could be your ego and that's what's keeping you locked behind these bars what exactly is it what you're expecting from someone or something if you want this closure what you have to ask yourself that question are you asking for some form of you know forgiveness apology you want someone down on their knees asking you for forgiveness what good would that do to you that would just feed your ego would it really help you no I doubt it it would make you feel good yes but it will only be temporarily so you have to accept that whatever this is it has ended and stop focusing on getting proper closure okay only you can give yourself a proper closure only you can give that to yourself and it's by healing by understanding by making peace with the situation just saying okay I understand I went through this it was painful I don't want to deal with it anymore now it's time for me to celebrate my life I learned a lesson okay that's what the speech of swords is telling us I learned a valuable lesson where now I am learning how to respond interact maybe even communicate in a different way but now I am going to focus on only no one but myself just me that would be nice if you could do that you know if you could just leave behind all of this walk away from it with your head up 
แต่เราพอยเนาะ and just focus on you now hopes and fears chariot can Syrian energy you do want to move on you know but something's holding you back because it's not moving chariot is not moving those two creatures are laying down on the ground you haven't given given the word to charge and move forward to drag you out of this it's because are you waiting for something you know especially being in your hopes and fears you know that's pretty much what i pick up with this card in that position there could be some lack of confidence you know but that's in your hopes and fears don't let it get to you but i think it's time for you to move on i think there's something really good waiting for you somewhere else but you have to allow yourself to you know step out and live life enjoy life see the beauty in the smallest things dance party you know have fun there's no need to stay here this is no good for you outcome or advice which I usually take more as advice is a two of cups you would immediately think oh maybe I should uh, wait things might heal between me and this other person or situation no I don't see it that way this two of cups what it's telling me is that you should go and search for something that vibrates at the same frequency that you vibrate something equal something that is capable of seeing you at the same eye level the same mutual respect okay something more meant for you that's what i'm trying to say freedom of choice okay you are free to choose whatever you want that's what this card also says that's two two stories about choices do you want to go back do you want to sit and wait see what happens see if this can get fixed you know by all means you know you can stay there for the rest of your life if you want okay figure it out use your intuition use your best discernment best use your judgment come on you're Libra you should use your best discernment and judgment okay and figure out what you think would be best for you but my job as a reader is to help people to leave behind what doesn't serve them to leave behind what keeps them stagnant stuck in fear with pain with doubts you know i can assure you that there's something much better and more meant for you out there than in this situation i would not give a second ch chance to anything that would have made me go through this when i say this this is like massive heartache okay it's not just you know a bunch of sweet lies or no this is something much stronger than that okay maybe you're having a hard time addressing that that's why we have the queen of swords you see maybe you are having a hard time really trying to accept and understand 
something. It's time for you to address something. It's time for you to understand that this was a life lesson. Okay, it could have been karmic. Okay. It was something probably meant for you to go through as part of your life path. Okay. Okay. Bottom of the deck. Eight of Swords. You can stay stuck as long as you want in this. As I said, freedom of choice. Okay. You know, the way she's tied up, it looks like she's tied up with toilet paper. I mean, literally. I mean, she could just break free from all this. It's all in your mind. You're doing this to yourself. Restricting yourself. Victimize, self-victimizing yourself here. Okay. You're expecting some type of recognition or admiration. I don't know what it is. But you could have some celebration and success somewhere else with something or someone else. But you have to take action. Okay? I think you're fed up with something. Some of you could have some fire energy. And you might be using that fire energy to finally make some type of impulsive reaction. Because maybe you're fed up. Okay, let me get some additional messages. Three of Cups, Ten of Cups. Party, enjoy life. Live life to the fullest. Okay. Can't reach Ten of Cups if you're not in the Nine of Cups first. That's for sure. Okay. You can have it. But you got to focus on yourself first. Okay. One more. Swords. I think you do. You are having a hard time accepting something or dealing with it. Okay. Some clarity you need to really see and understand. What else do you want to tell Libra? regarding the shooting or situation. I want to ask for one more, please. Just your three of cups again. One more. Because I am going to take it because, I mean, literally just flipped out, but what else do you want to tell Libra regarding this reading, please? Thank you. Uh, Knight of Pentacles, you know, it's just about, it's time to move on and plant seeds somewhere else, you know. You're more than ready to start a new journey somewhere else, with someone else or something else, okay? You have to, it's you taking your energy and investing it somewhere better. Okay. The two cards that flew out. It's the devil, Capricorn energy. As soon as I saw this, the first thing that I, well, I usually hear this, okay, with this card is, it's not meant for you. Okay. When we are bounded to something, it's not meant for you. Okay. This is something that is not divinely meant for you. There's something better. Okay. You have to break free from this. Okay. And the other card that flew out is the 
uh, Hierophant, Taurus Energy, and immediately, you know, with this, it's almost saying, you know, it's like they're telling you I, that you are protected. They've got your back. Just do what you have to do, okay? And you, everything will be fine. Trust yourself, trust your higher self. You have the divine knowledge, okay? You've already gone through a lot here, Libra. Why are you standing there just waiting to get the right closure? Even if you know that this has come to an end, why are you doing this to yourself? Okay? Is it pride? Is it ego? I don't know. Do you just want closure? I don't think it will even emotionally fulfill you if you get it. Because it's not going to fix anything to begin with. Just accept. That's the challenge. Just accept what has happened. And please continue with your life. Because there's something better for you waiting at the end of the road of this reading. Something more meant for you. Okay. One more. Let's close your reading with the Spirit of the Animals deck. And then I'll send you off your way. Okay. What else do you want to tell Libra regarding this reading or situation? Please, with the Spirit of the Animals deck. What else do you want to say to Libra, please? So you have for Libra. Thank you. Giraffe a visionary. You know, it's kind of funny because I just saw the giraffe uh, drawing. Giraffes, you know, with that long neck, they get like a better view of everything. It's about having that clarity, you know. It's like her having her head above the clouds, you know. You have to get this clarity, okay? It's accepting, it's understanding. The giraffe card says, rise above earthly matters. You know, that's the other thing, you see, you have to, you have to step more to your spiritual side to, to accept things. Glide through life with grace. You are able to see the right path, or you should. Mm -hmm. Stand tall in your self-worth and love with a big heart. You see, even after all the pain that you've been through, you have to still try to do this. Enjoy and live life to the fullest. Because that's the only way that you can prove to the divine and to yourself that you are worthy of being in this energy and then reaching that Ten of Cup energy and to find something that is equal to you, something that vibrates at the same frequency that you vibrate, okay? Libra, that's the best I can do for you, okay? I hope this reading does help you and it gives you the guidance and the answers that you are seeking at this moment of your life. If you do enjoy it, if you like it, if you if this help you somehow, uh, please do hit the like button and leave me a comment. I would truly appreciate it very much. Libra, I hope to see you next time and Happy New Year. Okay, I'll see you next year. And uh, Libra, please do stay safe, be happy, and stay very blessed. Goodbye, Libra.